Uh, our journey in steel is basically trying to uh, use steel wherever possible in our architectural life. We as architects are involved with millions and millions of square feet of real estate where we build houses, we build uh, retails, we build malls, we build hotels, convention centers. But uh, we get very little opportunity where we actually get, get to use uh, steel in a lot of spheres. But uh, interestingly, in my 10, 11 years of professional career where we have been practicing, I've tried to use steel uh, wherever uh, the opportunity uh, uh, was. So basically, we've tried to keep our uh, minds open from the inception, and we've tried to explore the properties of the material to address various challenges in the course of work. And in the following slides, basically, what I would try to show is uh, that how we could use uh, steel in smaller aspects, in larger aspects within the building, outside the building, as as an uh, as and wherever possible. So, uh, just to expand the horizons of a design, we as architects, when we conceptualize a building, how we can use steel in in different kind of spheres. So, my journey is uh, is basically trying to uh, harness the kind of works which can be done with steel and the opportunities where as an architect we can probably delve into the usage of steel. So uh, absolutely uh, in the beginning of our career, uh, we came across a project where Sinclair's Port Blair Bayview Hotel uh, was to be redesigned. There was a very, very old building, about 50, 60 year old, which was standing and we were given the renovation and expansion of this uh, project along with the interiors and everything. Now there were certain challenges. Uh, if you see, this was the building where uh, the, the existing building was uh, a five-story building with a, with the reception of the first floor and the, uh, luckily the building is in such a place where normally Port Blair, if we go, you'll find that the road divides the sea and all the buildings around. Luckily, in this project, we had the building on the side of the sea. So when the tsunami attacked, this being on a hilltop, uh, we were saved. But uh, also along with it, what happened was that uh, the building, uh, if you could see, is uh, a mound where the entire reception had a, a lawn in front of it. And we were asked to uh, bring a lot of uh, value to the existing resort. So we thought, why not scoop out this mass and create a deck in steel so that we could get an infinite look at the reception level and also a level below can be utilized. So luckily, this was the property which was, you see this is the road and the sea is on the other side. And this is how we build the deck. So now when you go to the reception, you get this steel deck, which is about 3,000 square feet, which gives an infinite look. And the advantage is the floor below, we've converted it into a restaurant, and then the, the entire steel structure remains exposed, and that also has a fantastic view now. Uh, the structure uh, seemed to be uh, very interestingly done with the symmetry and all achieved, uh, architecturally thought about along with the structural engineers, so that uh, we could leave it absolutely open. So uh, if you see, this is now the view from the deck. A very small example at the beginning of a career, then secondly, we came across McNeely Bharat Engineering uh, Factory. We were lucky enough to do the uh, unit two for them. They had an existing large engineering factory at Kumar Dubi. The second one in Asansol, which was intently intent uh, was to do the entire modernization of uh, sale, ISCO ISP. For that, they wanted to set up a plant. And luckily, we were the architects, and it was one of the biggest uh, uh, industrial works we've done very challenging, about 13,000 square meter uh, industry, industrial structure, and it's a heavy engineering structure, so there were gantry cranes in the range of 10 tons to 15 tons, 50 tons in each bay. And along with it, we had to take care that the architectural flow and of the material and everything, along with the aesthetics, could be taken care. So this is the span, just to give an idea, the building is 130 meters by 100 meters. There are 25 meters by 100 meters, four bay, with a railway uh, track which runs across. And along with it, there are, each bay contains two gantry cranes, each of at least 30 ton or 10 ton. And in one particular bay, there are two 50 ton gantry cranes. 
But architecturally, when we were designing this building, this had to be a PEB design, uh, 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 structure, and Everest did the execution of this. So along with it, uh, what was important was to have that uh, aesthetic value added to it. So uh, all these uh, buildings, which were about 20 meter high, the gate itself is about 10 and a half to, uh, sorry, 11 and a half to 12 meter high, the openings. Uh, so here, a plantation was uh, uh, intended to be done absolutely on the walls of the building so that we could uh, at least uh, control some heat gain uh, on, the, on the PV structures. Uh, this was the basic design flow. If you see, there were four uh, sheds, and there was a single uh, uh, central area where there was a mezzanine which overlooked this, the entire fact production area on two sides. The material flow was for essentially from this side, and the material came out. There were paint boots and all on this side, and this is how the materials left the yard. So this is the predominantly the section. Uh, each bay is 25 meters by 100 meters. <coughs> and there was a central mezzanine. And this mezzanine itself contains about 150 uh, people uh, office, so a big scale uh, industrial development, uh, structurally. Uh, pretty critical because all A-frames and all were designed to take the load of the uh, gantry cranes, uh, how the construction was happening. This is the final look, just to have an idea of the scale, the cars, and how the, grant the cranes are there. And uh, these are the gantry cranes moving inside the structure. And this is how we've landscaped it and tried to suit the very, very steelish look of the building. Then next, on our journey, uh, about five, six years back, we started designing a resort in Kalimpong for the Sinclairs again. Uh, this was a very interesting four-star resort which we designed on a five-acre land on a steep slope of around 65 meters. So uh, intent was to have a fantastic resort with a view of the mountains to every room. That was the challenge with the swimming pool and everything at the lowest level. So if you see this, this is a master plan. Me being an architect would always try to explain my design and then how I've used steel rather than explaining steel and then coming to design, so definitely you'll have to bear with me. Uh, this is the building, so uh, the, uh, ideally our intent was that we climb up to the topmost level and then have an infinite look from there, and then gradually we come down to each level, and this entire structure, it was a composite structure where the lower levels were uh, RCC, but the entire top uh, of the building was in steel. So this is how the reception with a span of around 15 to 20 meters was done with the steel and how we uh, later clad it to give a, a, give a voluminous look. This entire structure is, is made in steel. And then the cottages, the cottages had a small attic for an architectural difference so that we could have two levels within the cottage. And this is how the uh, design was done with the rafters. And uh, we put shringles on top uh, as, a, as an aesthetic cover to the uh, steel structure. And this is how the project now looks. And this is the uh, main reception. <coughs> uh, we did another retail. So means I'm trying to explore the possibilities of uh, steel in, uh, in our project. So we, on, the, on our journey, we, were, we came across a retail project in Salt Lake. Uh, which is called the Baisakhi Island. Uh, and there we designed a, a rehabilitation of a retail. Uh, 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 it was a project along with Bidhanagar municipality where there was retail uh, involved. There was a rehabilitation to it. There were offices in the upper floor. There were some banqueting facilities. But along with it, most importantly, we wanted to have a floating structure in the middle of the building, which would be a hanging restaurant and which would be a feature to this entire building. So if you see, this, this blue structure is actually a uniquely supported restaurant on the third level, providing the much needed relief as an awe-inspiring view to the satellite township around. And uh, this was designed by uh, Mr. Manoj Majumdar, a very, very uh, different design, where uh, there are two levels. One is the bottom level, which is the uh, restaurant, and the upper level, which acts as a cover to the restaurant, as well as a feature uh, where it uh, comes out. So if you see this uh, photographs, you'll realize that uh, the design principle was that we had a central pillar which goes up from where we had cable suspensions holding the upper level of the uh, uh, roof. And there were three posts all merging from one central point so that the, the, the circulation and all were unmarred. And that holds the lower level. So this was principally the structural uh, princ uh, principle of this building. 
and uh, this is how it looks today. Uh, we've painted it, uh, powder coated it, and left it the way it is. Uh, the, this is the look and feel from the place which has been created. <coughs> uh, we've done some warehousing as well. We are doing for Swishti Infrastructure Development Corporation. We've designed a logistic hub and truck terminus uh, in uh, Raniganj, close to Raniganj on NH2, where uh, we've, we've uh, done uh, organized truck parking spaces and about three lakh to four lakh square feet of uh, warehousing facility, the master plan, where we have some petrol pump and uh, dhabas in the front, some retail. And this entire 24 acres is truck parking and warehousing at the back. So uh, uh, warehousing, the, <coughs> the work was executed by Tata Blue Scope, 30 meters span. So this building is a 60 meter with a central pillar, 60 meters by 150 meter, one building, and there are several such buildings. <coughs> Very simple PV structure, uh, nothing complicated, just a shed, and uh, this is how uh, it looks today. This is a very interesting uh, project which we are doing. It's currently uh, being done. It is actually where we are using steel uh, for adaptive reuse of a very, very old heritage building. This heritage building has been listed as a grade A heritage uh, building where, uh, which is the famous Lahabari or uh, where uh, the, there, is the, there were some legendary shootings of uh, Poroma and Chokher Bali, the Bengali movies which have been shot here. And uh, this building is a very, very old, about a 150 year old building. Fantastic Belgian glass of different colors louvers and wooden cor uh, and, and Corinthian pillars and everything. The building is in bad shape and we need to uh, re reuse this building into some proper use, otherwise the building will lose its, its beauty and glamour. So uh, uh, this was once upon a time the office of Ajkal as well. So this is the structure of the building presently with a lot of walls, with the rooms and how it's positioned with the central courtyard. With the invent, with the with the usage of steel, what we are trying trying to do is we are trying to remove as much of walls from inside as possible, trying to replace those old uh, old structures with steel and reduce the weight of the building so that no weight is transferred to the main uh, peripheral uh, architectural uh, look, and we are trying to uh, use it uh, as a retail now. We are trying to reuse it into a retail where probably we'll have this central uh, uh, atrium from where the escalators and all will go up and it'll be a two floor, very interesting looking retail with all the walls removed and steel structures to take care of it. This is the first floor where again we see a lot of walls and this is how we are trying to eliminate most of the walls and trying to manage with whatever is possible. And this is how the finally the building is going to look, the, the reclamation and renovation is going on hoping that uh, in next one, two years time, this will be complete. And uh, a final project of mine, which uh, we are doing in, in Puri, in Orissa, it's going to be one of the largest uh, convention center and resorts of Orissa. It is actually uh, uh, about uh, 65,000 square feet uh, premium uh, convention center and resort, along with spas and spa villas, and more than 100 plus uh, villas with swimming pools. This spacious convention center is mostly done with vernacular material. Uh, here we are trying to follow a very Balinese kind of architecture where we are using laterite stone and uh, we are trying to uh, do a lot of cladding with capra tiles on the roof and maybe with thatch roofing. And for all these things, definitely I, I uh, with this kind of span we are having, we definitely would have to work with steel in this entire building. This is the master plan. If you see on the left side of the road are those uh, villas uh, these villas are uh, going to be sold to people, so these are having concrete roof, and they have private pools, all of them. But this, the right side of the of the road, this entire structure is being made in steel. Uh, here, um, if you see the uh, plan of the resort and convention only, uh, if I, if you can see the grids, I don't know if they are visible. Each grid is more than six meters, so the spans are basically 20 meters, 25 meters, 30 meters in a building, and we have floors above it. So it's not only that we can have a, a, a pitch roof, a stilted lightweight structure, somewhere it will be structural members as well. So steel is going to be used extensively in this building. This is the look of the building, how, how we are going to clad the steel with thatch and, uh, and uh, with wood. This is the building which is completed, the villas, 
uh, which is on the other side of the road, just for a glimpse how it is. But uh, this is how the resort would look like, and this is how the convention center would look like, and with thatch roofing and a lot of uh, 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 copra tiles and all those uh, things. So a huge span. Uh, this building is under construction. We started uh, the work. This is predominantly my, my small journey in steel and uh, where we have tried to experiment a bit with the usage of steel in buildings. I would thank everybody with this presentation.